Hey everyone, Kale here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome into my first time watching and reacting to Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. If this is your first time here, make sure that you click this link in this corner that will take you to my Star Wars movie reactions playlist. Go get caught up on Episodes 4 and 5 and then come back here to watch me watch Episode 6. If you are enjoying my reactions and have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. As of recording this, I am so close. I am so close to YouTube partner. Um, I'm like 70 subs or something away from being able to apply. So click the subscribe button, turn notifications on, like my video, leave a comment, do all that engagement. Um, that would really mean a lot and I would appreciate that a ton. And as always, the entire unedited movie reactions are available on my Patreon for $2 a month. You can choose to pay more, but it's open for a minimum of two dollars per month so if this is something that interests you feel free to sign up in the description below i'm keeping this intro super short and sweet today so with all of that out of the way i am ready to click play i'm assuming you guys are ready to watch me watch this so with that said let's go long time ago in a galaxy far far away I love that there's been like a similar intro to every single movie so far. Just the shot of the ship over the top of your head. We're starting our approach to deactivate the security shield. Inform the commander that Lord Vader's shuttle has arrived. <laughs> the music. Oh, the way it's done in this scene is so good. This entrance is going to be epic, I can tell. Tell you if the station will be operational as planned. The Emperor does not share your optimistic appraisal of the situation. The Emperor's coming here? That is correct, Commander. The Emperor is not as forgiving as I am. <laughs> Good start. Good start. Hello. Of course I'm worried, and you should be too. Oh, they're always worried. <laughs> that knock though it was literally just like a tap and then immediately like oh no one's here <laughs> we we bring a message to your master jabba the hutt i am luke skywalker jedi knight and friend to captain solo i seek an audience with your greatness to bargain for solo's life as a token of my goodwill i present to you a gift these two droids what did you say both are hard working and will serve you well. This can't be. Arto, you're playing the wrong message. I have lied before, but... There will be no bargain. Solo for the market, Oh. Damn. What could possibly have come over Master Luke? Is it something he did? Oh. He never expressed any unhappiness <laughs> with my work. What? Oh. <gasps> oh no. I really appreciate how 3PO's face doesn't change, but depending on what he's saying and the situation of the context, his facial expression is always fitting. I feel so bad for these two. I hope they'll be okay. I'm sure they will be, but. You got a party up in here. Uh oh. <gasps> I don't like this place. I've come for the bounty on this Wookiee. Chewie! And that is Vader's bounty hunter. Jabba offers a sum of 35, and I do suggest you take it. <laughs> All right, drama's over. Everyone back to party. <laughs> Should we actually get captured then, or is this like 
a plan that Lando had. Is this Lando? I feel like it must be. Come on, Han Solo, get up. We need to leave. We need to leave. Who are you? Lando. <gasps> Someone who loves you. Oh! Yo. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. I genuinely was not. Holy crap. I know that laugh. Gotcha, me too. Jabba, a paved trip. You're throwing away a fortune here. Don't be a fool. Oh no. Okay, where's Lando? You can't even take care of himself. Much less rescue him. <sighs> wow. A Jedi Knight. I'm out of it. For a little while, everybody gets delusions of grace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chewie. <laughs> They've been apart for so long. <sighs> Good reunion. <gasps> Holy shit, hell yes. Oh, damn. Okay. I was like, is that Leia? I must speak with Jabba. It will take me to Jabba now. Gosh, Luke has matured so much. You will bring Captain Solo and the Wookiee to me. I'm taking Captain Solo and his friend. You can either profit by this or be destroyed. <gasps> Lando, hi. <laughs> it's cool seeing a Rancor in the movie, because I had to fight one in Knights of the Old Republic, and it was hard. <laughs> What's your plan, Luke? <gasps> Is he gonna do what I... Uh, yep. Damn. Hell yeah. <laughs> Of course, you got to add like a really sad whine when they die that makes you feel sad for them momentarily. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Was the Rancor that guy's pet? <sighs> OK, Lando, I feel like ha has a plan. Oh, I feel bad for this guy. <laughs> oh. Together again, huh? Wouldn't miss it. How are we doing? Same as always. That bad, huh? His High Exaltedness, the great Jabba the Hutt, has decreed that you are to be terminated immediately. Good, I hate long waits. You should have bargained, Jabba. Yeah, Johnny. <gasps> What's gonna happen? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Poor Leia. I feel really bad for her. I love that music's playing right now, like they're all on a road trip. <laughs> I love that everyone went to go deliver them. Just stick close to Chewie and Lando. Taking care of everything. Oh no. I have no idea what they're gonna do or how they get out of this, but Lando's here, so I have faith. Three PO! You tell that slimy piece of worm ridden filth to get no such pleasure from us. Right? <laughs> I've heard that scream before. <laughs> Okay, that's now where the name is actually said, is in this movie. Oh, Leia! Oh, shit! Shit! 
it. Damn, you go, girl. Grab it. Almost. You almost got it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't move, Lando. Oh wait, I thought you were alive. Alright, I can see a lot better. Just a little higher. Just a little higher. He's got it, it's fine. Chewy, pull some. Look at that! Yes! Yes. Hey Luke, thanks. Thanks for coming after me. Aww. Aww. Okay, so... That's oh. Right, R2. We're going to the Dagobah system. I legit was just about to be like, are they going to see Yoda? In the Dagobah system? I have a promise to oh right! His hand... Right. I totally forgot that happened in the last movie. So when he got shot, I was like, I immediately was like, ouch, but he probably didn't even feel a thing, so it's fine. Oh, oh here we go, Mr. Emperor Sark. The Death Star will be completed on schedule. And now I sense you wish to continue your search. When he does, you must bring him before me. Hello, Yoda. Sick of having come. Hmm. When nine hundred years old, you reach. Good, you are not. <laughs> I've come back to complete the training. No more training you require. Already know you. That which you need. Then I am a Jedi. Oh. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> no wonder the Emperor said he will come to you. Is Darth Vader my father? Say something. Your father he is. Okay. Told me it is. Unexpected, he says. And unfortunate. Unfortunate that I know the truth. No. Or unfortunate that he's your father. Well, it happened. I'm sorry. So. Anger, fear, depression. Dark side of things. Do not underestimate the powers of the Emperor. Or suffer your father's fate. You were one God and I. The last of the Jedi will you be. What? Run around way of saying you need to have children, Luke. <laughs> Damn, man. I feel like we barely got to see Oda. I was kind of expecting him to be like throughout this whole movie. And maybe he still will, in a way, but... I can't do it, R2. Yes, you can. You can't go on alone. Yoda will always be with you. Mm, hey, Obi-Wan. Look at him. You told me Vader betrayed and murdered my father. He ceased to be Anakin Skywalker. <gasps> Vader. Oh. Shit, okay. Luke, you're very fine with many of the tools we cling to. Depend greatly on our own point of view. Okay, okay. I took it upon myself to train him as a Jedi. There is still good in him. He cannot escape your destiny. I can't kill my own father. Then the Emperor has already won. Yoda spoke of another. The other he spoke of is your twin sister. 
But I have no sister. To protect you both from the Emperor, you were hidden from your father when you were born. The Emperor knew, as I did, if Anakin were to have any offspring, they would be a threat to him. That was the reason why your sister remained safely anonymous. Hmm. Leia. Leia's my sister. Your insight served you well. Bury your feelings deep down, Luke. They do you credit, but they could be made to serve the Emperor. <laughs> So much just happened in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay. Damn. So Anakin is Darth. Anakin, Luke's father, was good, turned to evil, became Darth Vader. Leia is Luke's twin sister. And they've kissed. That's awkward. The Emperor's made a critical error and the time for our attack has come. We also know that the weapon systems of this Death Star are not yet operational. Oh shit. We've learned that the Emperor himself is personally overseeing the final stages of the construction of this Death Star. It is protected by an energy shield, which is generated from the nearby forest moon of Endor, while the fighters fly into the superstructure and attempt to knock out the main reactor. A strike team will land on the moon and deactivate the shield generator. General, count me in. I'm with you too. <gasps> What is it? Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Remember how last video I was like, oh, are Luke and Leia maybe gonna? <laughs> yeah, nope. <laughs> That's, that won't happen. <laughs> so, yes, I, I firmly believe Han and Leia, couple, best couple. We gotta ship them. <laughs> I love that with Han's responses to Chewie, like, you know what Chewie was saying just by his body actions and, you know, it's really good. The group is all together. Here we go again. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God, the Death Star is looking so interesting. I don't know what other word to say. Yes, my master. I'm starting to like feel bad for Darth Vader because I don't like the Emperor and I have a bad feeling about just everything. Vader's on that ship. I'm endangering the mission. I shouldn't have come. It's your imagination. They can sense each other. Come on, leave them to me. I will deal with them myself. Wow, that's so pretty. Ah, look at us. We're going on a hike. That's my kind of thing. My 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 kind of thing. My kind of thing. Chewing not with Vader's. You stay here. Quietly. There might be more of them out there. Hey. It's me. <laughs> so when is Luke gonna tell Leia that they are twins? Oh shit. Well that worked out wonderfully. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> okay, I want to drive one of these things. It looks really fun. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no, Leia. Okay, go find Leia. Leia's in the dirt somewhere. Where's Leia? What, she didn't come back? I thought she was with you. We got separated. Hey, we better go look for her. Take the squad ahead. We'll meet at the shield generator at 0300. Come on, R2, we'll need your scanner. Uh-oh. Oh, they're kind of cute. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Uh oh. Freeze! <gasps> Come on, get up! Oh no. What the? 
Oh, hell yeah. I love Leia so much. She keeps getting better as the movies keep going on. A small rebel force has penetrated the shield and landed on Endor. My son is with them. Are you sure? Strange that I have not. I wonder if your feelings on this matter are hmm. clear, Lord Vader. Interesting. His compassion for you will be his undoing. Vader's chair is way cooler. I'll just say that. Emperor's chair is lame. I hope she's all right. She's fine. She's strong. Good job, Chewie. Nice. R2 with the blade. Oh, I love how they're they're all coming out being like, what did we catch? Oh, they're so cute. Does 3PO know Iwakis? <laughs> what is going on? Perfect. But I do believe they think I am some sort of god. It's against my programming to impersonate a deity. Why you? Yeah, don't threaten the god, 3PO. <laughs> Okay, I want to live here. This treehouse looks dope. All of the treehouses look fun. <laughs> 3PO in the chair, I cannot. <laughs> Treated like damn royalty he is. I really hope that Leia ends up here somewhere in this like village of theirs. I don't know where her and that other one went. <gasps> yes, there she is. Tell them if they don't do as you wish, you become angry and use your magic. But Master Luke, what magic? I couldn't possibly just tell them. You see, Master Luke, they didn't believe me, just as I said they would. <laughs> oh, Luke's Luke's about to do something. Hell yes. Make them believe in the magic. Nice. <laughs> Poor R2. I never knew I had it. <laughs> Oh my god, that's just so cute! This is so adorable, you guys. I love this. <laughs> Aww. Yay! Oh, is Leia going to find Luke? I bet this is when the conversation happens. Hopefully. Do you remember your mother? Your real mother? She was very beautiful. Kind. But sad. I have no memory of my mother. Vader is here. Now, on this moon. How do you know? I felt his presence. He is my father. If I don't make it back, you're the only hope for your life. Luke, don't talk that way. You have a power I, I don't understand and could never have. You're wrong, Leia. You have that power too. The Force is strong in Leia. Your father has it. I have it. My sister has it. It's you, Leia. I know. Somehow, I've always known. There is good in him. I felt it. He won't turn me over to the Emperor. I can save him. I can turn him back. Oh, was Han listening that whole time? Or no? Nothing. I, I just want to be alone. <laughs> You're not gonna tell him? Come on, tell me what's Please tell on? him. Han. Sorry. Oh. It's a good thing that Leia knows at least. He was armed only with this. I love the all black on Luke. That he's been wearing pretty much this entire movie. He just looks very sharp. So you have accepted the truth. I've accepted the truth that you were once Anakin Skywalker, my father. That name no longer has any meaning. <sighs> oh. Yourself, you've only forgotten. I know there is good in you. The Emperor hasn't driven it from you fully. 
That was why you couldn't destroy me. Oh. That's why you won't bring me to your emperor now. Oh. You don't know the power of the dark side. I must obey my master. I will not turn. I feel the conflict within you. Let go of your hate. It is too late for me, son. The Emperor will show you the true nature of the Force. He is your master now. Then my father is truly dead. <sighs> I never expected this to happen. Like, truly, I just always thought Darth Vader was, like, enemy number one. But now I have feelings about him <laughs> that aren't just like, oh, you're evil, <laughs> which I love. Uh, God, I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm so excited to find out. Admiral, we're in position. All fighters accounted for. Lando. Don't worry, my friend's down there. You let that shield down on time. Two guards. This shouldn't be too much trouble. Look over there. Stop him. I mean, if all of them are gonna go chase after him, then that was a smart idea. Now there's only one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, that was easy to get in. I'm so nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Welcome, young Skywalker. I'm looking forward to completing your training. In time, you will call. Dude looks rough. Master. And ugly. You're gravely mistaken. You won't convert me as you did my father. Soon I'll be dead. And you with me. Perhaps you refer to the imminent attack on your rebel fleet. Yeah. I assure you, we are quite safe from your friends here. Your overconfidence is your weakness. Your faith in your friends is yours. Your friends up there on the sanctuary moon are walking into a trap, as is your rebel fleet. I'm afraid the deflector shield will be quite operational when your friends arrive. I hate this guy. The shield, the shield. I'm nervous. Well, how could they be jamming us if they don't know if we're coming? Pull up, all crap, pull up. Admiral, we have enemy ships in sector 47. It's a trap. Come, boy. See for yourself. Mm. Use it. I am unarmed. Mm. That's a trap. Don't do it, Luke. Oui. Damn, this sucks. Hello, I see you over there. Were you looking for me? Well, they're on their way. Are you sure this was a good idea? <laughs> I don't know why, but I did not expect this to happen. I don't know why. <laughs> it's probably for the best that I didn't expect it, though, because this is great. <laughs> They're trying. That's the important thing. <laughs> Oh my god, look at all their little little contraptions. Only the fighters are attacking. I wonder what those Star Destroyers are waiting for. We're not going to attack. I have my orders from the Emperor himself. He has something special. For <sighs> As you can see, my young apprentice, your friends have failed. Now witness the firepower this fully armed and operational battle station. The makeup on him is really good, though. The special effects makeup, I do really appreciate it. Uh, oh, that blast 
escape from the Death Star. And we'll have that shield down. We've got to give him more time. <sighs> All right, R2, let's go. R2, hurry. Oh, now you want R2 to hurry. Before you were like, where are you going? You can't go anywhere. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Hardware this thing. And engage those star destroyers at point blank range. Your fleet is lost. And your friends on the indoor moon will not survive. Yes, they will. I feel your anger. <sighs> I am defenseless. Take your weapon. Don't fall when for it. With all Damn it, Luke. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I love them. I got it. Mm. Not quite, but <gasps> Oh no. Oh dear. Don't move. I love you. I know. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> the fact that she said that. Ugh. Full circle comes right back around. Uh oh, another battle. Damn it. I just realized that Luke attacked first, but Yoda said never to do that. You're soft to betray you, Father. I feel the good in you. The conflict. There is no conflict. I'm sure in a little bit now. Come on, and oh buddy, don't let me down. <laughs> Throw me another charge. Your thoughts betray you. Your feelings for them are strong, especially for sister. So you have my twin sister. Your feelings have now betrayed her too. The music right now is really, really, really good. What are you thinking, Luke? I'll never turn to the dark side. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So be it. <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> snap! <laughs> Damn. The shield is down. Yes. Let's go. Oh, wow. So, you're going to do something?
Oh, man, yes. Wow. Oh my God, look at this scene. Genuinely never expected this. I'm, I, ugh. Luke, help me take this mask off. Oh boy. But you'll die. Nothing can stop that now. Just for once. Let me I'm nervous. <laughs> look on you with my own eyes. I'm nervous. Sam, hi. No. Go, my son. This is emotional. No. Ah. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not Tell your sister you are right. Father. I won't leave. If you had told me two weeks ago that I'd be needing Kleenex because of Darth Vader, I would have laughed. Move the fleet away from the Death Star. Hurry! Oh my god, hurry! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! Wow! I'm sure Luke wasn't on that thing when it blew. He wasn't. I can feel it. Oh. Han's like, excuse me? Oh no! <laughs> I mean, she does, but not in that way. Don't you? <laughs> yes. All right. No, 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 it's your misunderstanding. No, no, no. Oh, God. She's my brother. I love them. I love them so much. Rest in peace, Darth Vader. Rest in peace, Anakin Skywalker. And rest in hell to the Emperor. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my god, the fact <laughs> using the helmets as drums. <laughs> oh. Just want to make it clear, I love Lando. Like, for sure, love Lando now. Like. Can definitely say that. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. All right, hi. I had to take a few minutes to like calm myself down and also eat some chocolate and get my thoughts in order to talk about what I thought of this movie. And I'm probably gonna talk about the other movies as well, just to refer back to them, just because I feel like this movie clarified a lot of things for me that I've kind of been thinking along the way. Confusion that I had, thoughts, just... <laughs> 
<laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> okay, my thoughts are probably gonna be all over the place, but I just am gonna go in the order that works best for me. So one thing I wanna touch on, when I edit these, I end up kind of realizing a lot of stuff. So then when I go to upload them on YouTube, obviously I don't really get a chance to clarify that. And I don't really wanna like re-record anything post-editing to throw at the very end of the edited video. So that being said, I did receive some comments from folks about a few things that I had talked about in the last video for Empire Strikes Back. So I just want to touch on that briefly. So the first thing is Lando. In the moment, I was like really upset with Lando and very flip floppy on how I felt about him. I liked him and then I didn't like him and then I liked him again. And in editing, of course, I ended up realizing that like, okay, Lando was kind of put in between a rock and a hard place. Darth shows up and basically threatens Lando. Lando obviously has to follow along with what Darth Vader wants. So I will retract my original like thought of, oh, Lando, you son of a bitch, I don't like you. Yeah, Lando was just <laughs> doing what he had to do to basically stay alive. At the end of Empire Strikes Back and then also this movie, Return of the Jedi, I love Lando. I think he's great. Really enjoy his character, really enjoy his loyalty to uh, the cause and the friends. I don't feel that Lando is a bad person at all. Now I wanna touch on the whole like there is another because when Yoda and Obi-Wan, when they first said that to each other um, in the last movie, of course I'm sitting here like there is another. Um, and then also to the mention of Anakin Skywalker, my question, like in my mind, I'm like, who is that? So yeah, this movie cleared up both of those, um, obviously with the whole there is another they were referring to another Skywalker meaning Leia which that that whole thing came as a very big like wow like I was not expecting that whatsoever I do laugh at the comments <laughs> I made in like definitely the last movie but I may I, I have to go back and watch my uh reaction to A New Hope but um I love how I was like sitting here being like oh like maybe Luke and Leia will <laughs> yeah nope <laughs> not in that way I mean they love each other but it's definitely on that at familial level and not the whole romantic side of things, which thank goodness for that. So yes, Han Solo and Leia, definitely best couple. I ship them, they're they're wonderful. Uh, Luke and Leia now I can confidently be like, you guys are the best of siblings and you got each other's backs and you love each other and that's fantastic. So I still think they're a great duo, just not in the romantic way that I maybe had a hunch was coming, that definitely didn't, um, which is, is nice. I loved Han Solo's reaction <laughs> to finding out that they were siblings. That whole scene was just done really, really well. As well in editing The Empire Strikes Back, the big scene with, with Darth and Luke near the end. In editing, I did notice, obviously I was paying attention to the scene as it was playing out. And the way that I saw it in the moment, so just to go back to like my actual reaction in the moment, the way that I saw it is like, you know, Darth being like, come join me to fight the emperor, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's funny cause like I knew that line was coming where he was like, I'm your father. But for some reason, I just, I feel like I felt it was a trap for Luke almost. And that he was maybe fibbing on the whole, like join me to take over the emperor kind of thing. Because in my mind, I was just like, why, why, like, why would you want that? That doesn't make sense. And even after the whole reveal of like, I'm your father, it still didn't really make a ton of sense to me. Obviously now after seeing this movie and getting Getting all that context like now it makes sense and when I think back to that scene in Empire Strikes Back I do feel like Darth had a very genuine moment of like son join me let's fucking take down this awful son of a bitch because I do still have some good in me and I feel like that scene like showed us that in the moment I just didn't feel that at all in the moment I was just like no Darth's the bad guy like why the hell would you do that why would you listen to him why would you team up with him makes no sense even after the father reveal it just didn't make sense to me but watching this movie oh my gosh like the emotions and feelings that go from like the beginning to the end of this movie with respect to like Darth as a character and the relationship between him and Luke like I full-on never expected that I would like cry and feel these like strange is pulling at my heart about him. My best friend's favorite character is Darth Vader, always has been. And I'm not, I won't lie, like I didn't say it in any of my videos, but when I watched the first two, I remember thinking like, how is Darth Vader my best friend's favorite character? Like, I don't understand. But now I understand. I'm also really excited to start watching the prequels because I assume, I'm po I'm pretty positive that, you know, we're gonna see young Anakin Skywalker, probably a young emperor, and like, just get all this backstory. And I like, I'm someone that I, I love character development. I love getting the backstories. So I'm very, very, very excited to watch the prequels. 
to just oh, just get more information about these characters and these stories. And I want to see how Anakin got to be Darth. Like, I want to know what Anakin was like when he was good before he went to the dark side. So I'm super excited to get into that. But yeah, this whole that whole like storyline with with Darth and Luke just was amazing for someone that's never been into Star Wars, but has been surrounded by it with like pop culture and stuff like, you know, my brain has heard Darth Vader many times and my brain and my ears have heard Anakin Skywalker many times. And but I did not know they were one and the same. I genuinely did not know they were the same people. I totally thought they were different. Yeah, this has been just like for me, like just mind blowing. It's been awesome. In this movie, I really enjoyed all the scenes on Endor. I loved the Ewoks. I'm hoping I'm saying that name right. We didn't really, I don't think we ever actually heard that name in the movie, but the subtitles were always saying like speaking Ewokies. So I think Ewoks is the, is the proper name for what those creatures were or are. But yeah, really love that world. I'm a big sucker for forests and stuff though. So like that just, I just loved that planet or er, moon, moon not planet. Yeah, really enjoyed all the scenes there. I really enjoyed 3PO's <laughs> humor and just everything on the on that world. I'm going to call it a world even though I think it's technically a moon. It just makes sense in my head to be like world. So yeah, that whole aspect of everything like their mission to go destroy the the shield generator base thing uh that was super fun i enjoyed all of those scenes i enjoyed the fights that happened there um i really enjoyed the big battle at the end to get the death star blown up that was super fun and really well done and just very gripping but overall with this movie like hands down just my absolute favorite was specifically the darth luke stuff and just kind of having that storyline come to a close close you know like Darth's rest in peace, Anakin, Darth. And also it was really like, I think why I, I got really teary eyed was just the fact that we could, we got to see Darth's face. Like we got to see, I want to say kind of corrupted, a dark side Anakin Skywalker, like an old man with like a little bit of regret maybe in his face, last wishes to just be like, I want to look you, or I want you to look me in the eyes, son to Luke. Really, really well done scene. Very emotional. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Just, um, yeah, really hard hitting. And then, and then the final scene, the final scene where Luke was looking over and saw Obi-Wan, Yoda, and a, and a young Anakin Skywalker. So yeah, just seeing the three of them together just was really, really, uh, it was emotional. It was emotional. Um, and it just made me happy. And it was like seeing Anakin there in like Anakin form and not in Darth Vader form was really nice because it kind of just it, it showed me that at the very end, like Darth's final moments of his life, he wasn't Darth Vader anymore. He was back to being Anakin and basically like saying goodbye to his son. So, yeah, I got really emotional at the very end <laughs> because of that. So this wraps the end of the original trilogy. We've now watched four, five, six, and that's done. And now we're gonna be jumping way back in time and watching the prequels, which I'm really excited for. Again, I don't look the stuff up. I don't look up the characters or anything. I don't wanna spoil myself on anything accidentally. And it's very easy to do that if you even just look up one thing about a character. So in terms of what happens, I mean, based on the titles of the movies, I'm assuming that there's more battles, more wars, that kind of thing. Um, but I have no idea like what to expect. In terms of wrapping up the trilogy and my thoughts overall, I'm actually finding it really difficult to decide which movie I liked best between The Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. I still think Empire Strikes Back just squeaks ahead a little bit as the favorite of the three because I really, really, really loved The Empire Strikes Back. But that being said, Return of the Jedi, it's like just below Empire Strikes Back in second place. And the reason why is because the emotional aspect of this movie is too strong to ignore. I really, really, really just loved where the story went. And I feel like it was just such a good ending for the trilogy, for the original trilogy here overall. And I know that there's movies, I know that there's sequels coming, um, and I have absolutely no idea what to expect in the sequels. I know that there are people out there that don't care for the sequels. And I am going to be watching them. I must at this point um, in terms of what the heck is even going to happen in them, though. No idea. Obviously, the characters we know and love are going to be older. But in terms of like what happens, I mean, I don't freaking know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I like going into these movies having no idea what's going to happen. So and A New Hope was still fantastic for those of you that are going to like come at me in the comments and be like, what about A New Hope? I still love and I still loved A New Hope. A New Hope was great. It set the necessary foundation for episodes five and six. That being said, I just I do feel like ESB and Return of the Jedi for me are higher, like quite a bit higher than A New Hope in terms of like 
where I would put them on the favorites scale. All right, everyone, that wraps up my thoughts on Return of the Jedi and the original trilogy. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I look forward to seeing you over on my Twitch stream. If you want to join us over there, I am playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on Tuesday evenings starting at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. But if not, that's okay too. We'll see you here next time for my next Star Wars reaction. If you're not yet subbed to the channel, please click here. And if you want to continue watching my reactions, please click over here. But until then, we'll see you on all my socials. We'll see you here on YouTube and I'll catch you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.